Hey guys, I'm back with another PvP tips video, and it's finally time to do another fight analysis video. A lot of you really like these, and if you don't know, these are videos where I go through one of my fights I had on stream step by step, showing you what I was thinking in the moment and why I did what I did to hopefully give you some insight on how to remain calm and make some good decisions during some fights. So let's get right into it. Okay, so just to set the stage here, I'm chasing a boat, and I see they're about to board me with a keg. I'm trying to remain calm. They board, and I just want to follow them down beneath deck. So that way when they drop it, I can hurry up, pick it up, defuse it, and throw it overboard. But unfortunately, I get stuck on the stairs and it blows up anyway. However, I get extremely lucky. Damn it. <laughs> Mid deck. Save. Okay, so somehow my boat didn't sink, and so I am just trying to make sure I bucket out enough water to give myself some time to make sure my anchor is raised and my mast is repaired. However, while repairing my mast, they are boarding me and spamming curse balls, and if you listen, right after this, you'll hear a splash on the ladder telling me someone is climbing up on my ship. Fuck! Oh, I might be sunk. They're dumping curses. Okay, so as you can see, my boat is moments away from sinking, so I need to bucket out water immediately, and I know that there's an enemy behind me, so one thing I like to do if I'm being chased is bucket water out the back while running around the map table, which can usually maybe give me an extra bucket or two before I have to fight them. And just as I said, I have an enemy chasing me, so I have time to do one quick bucket before I can get my sword up, and I'm going to sword hop, that's blocking and using my jump, through the enemy player, do a 180 to try and get behind him and continually attack him while spinning around to try and avoid his block. This guy is clearly trying to block my attacks and what I'm doing besides just spinning around him is I'm doing what I call a sword drag where when I start my sword swing, I'm kind of swiping my mouse across the screen to try and get around his hitbox, which I do. You can see right here the point of contact. I end up killing him and I go to back to do repairs, but I hear the other crewmate shoot over out of the cannon if you listen for it. So I have to go back up top. So I was able to bucket out some water to buy me some time. I made sure I was at full health and now I'm trying to get a sword lunge on the ladder to try and knock them away from my ship. However, as you can see, I'm a little bit too late. So I am going to hold my block and get ready to try and block this guy's attacks. So I just counted three sword swipes in my head from the enemy player, meaning his combo is over and there is a small cooldown before he can hit me again. You can also see this because he gets knocked back from my block. So what I'm going to do here is, again, I'm going to sword hop through him 180 and start attacking him. However, going through someone is very disorienting, so I'm going to try to attack him and then ready a lunge to get some extra damage. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty good player. He had the same idea to back up and disengage to try and get a shot on me. And my lunge here is about to miss, clearly. So what I'm going to do is do a sword drag. So at the end of my lunge, I'm going to drag my mouse to the left to try and catch him on my left side, which I do, knocking him overboard, and I will go back for repairs. And if you listen, I will hear him board yet again and have to return to my ladder. Okay, so here we are again, trying to do a lunge on the ladder, but clearly this guy is just reading me like an open book because I miss and he runs below deck. So I'm going to heal up and give chase and try and get a very quick bucket in while I'm down there. Now, chasing a decent player below decks is generally a bad idea because they're either going to turn and burn you with the sword or be ready and waiting with a gun. But the water level is rising and I really don't have the time to let him camp down here. So I try and dodge his shot with a sword hop and unfortunately he does hit me. So I'm going to run back up, heal up and do a loop because as I run away, I've got the feeling he's going to chase me, which is exactly what happens. Okay, so here he is. I'm going to try and get a couple sword swipes on him, but I see he is currently reloading his eye of reach. So I am actually going to back up and try and heal to make sure I am above the threshold for getting one shot by the sniper, which does 70 damage. 
However, once I see that I am actually above 70 health, I cancel the heal and ready a lunge. Okay, so I'm about to lunge this guy and you do not want to lunge under a broken mast. You will get stuck. So I move to the left of the mast and am able to lunge him off of the ship, allowing me to go bucket out some more water. And yet again, I hear the splash on the ladder as he's coming up. This guy just won't give up, so we go back up to ladder guard. <laughs> he's climbing back up, and I've already done the ladder lunge a couple times, so he's probably going to expect it. And I am guessing that he's probably going to run that same route down below the deck of my ship. So I'm going to try and stay at his heels and continually attack him with my sword. And if you notice, I am throwing in a couple sword hops to try and help close the distance. And I do end up killing him, and once he's dead, I go straight back to repairing my ship. <laughs> oh my god, I might not sunk yet. Jesus Christ. So here we're skipping ahead a bit. I actually did manage to repair my ship, get my mast fixed, and get my boat moving. And we are now fully repaired, ready to go and fight this ship. And right here, I'm doing a move that I really like that is a bit risky, where if you think the enemy player is going to miss their shots, you can go into their broadside and then cut hard behind their ship, giving you a huge window to get some good shots in. This is my go-to move. If they miss some shots right here, I'll have a great angle. So we're going to be opening with a chain shot. And you can see I'm leading their ship and aiming it a bit higher than you would a normal cannonball. Their chain shot actually breaks my wheel, which is okay because it's already turned, so I shouldn't have to worry about it. I hit their mast, and I'm going to swap to blunder bombs to try and shoot at their sail length control to prevent them from catching it, and I'm going to keep shooting it until their mast is fully dropped. Oh, there goes my wheel. I'm not turning. Hopefully I've already got a good spiral going. Don't touch that sail. Okay, so their mast is down, and what you're about to hear is my blunder bomb actually killing one person on the boat, which is my signal that I need to use whatever I have against them and board. So I'm going to start spamming my curse balls and then get ready to board their ship. Oh yeah. Get that peace ball. Jig ball. Anchor ball. I'm actually missing the anchor ball. Let me get that one more time. Go for a board. And lastly, I'm just going to lunge jump off of my ship to quickly go for the board, but they had already sunk. They sank. GG's. That was insane. Again, if you've never seen one of these, I'm going to let you watch the whole fight back without interruption so you can see it all in one piece. Fuck. Oh, I might be sunk. They're dumping curses. Oh my god, I'm not sunk yet. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's it for me today. I give away exclusive in-game items every Wednesday and occasionally have Twitch drops on my stream at twitch.tv slash blurbs, where I stream every weekday and most weekends. We also have an incredible Discord community full of very chill, very wonderful people that you should definitely check out. But regardless, thank you for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video.